we talked, I mean, I showed his, uh, I guess his stepson how to throw a football. I helped him out with football every now and then and then given him rides several places. Tonight, a Sumner County community is reeling as Metro Police close in on the man they say is behind a triple murder in West Nashville. Good evening, I'm Samantha Fisher. And I'm Bob Mueller. The victims were known as a friendly family who went all out decorating for holidays like Christmas and Halloween. And tonight, the motive in the case reveals what police say was really going on behind closed doors. As News 2's Joseph Pleasant shows us, neighbors of the accused killer are shocked. That's him. That's him. That's him. As soon as we show Lorenzo Jenkins, also known as Kelvin's mugshot to folks in his Hendersonville neighborhood, they recognized him. Jeremy Roberts even considered him a friend. We talked, I mean, I showed his, uh, I guess his stepson how to throw a football. I helped him out with football every now and then and then given him rides several places. Friday, Metro Police charged Jenkins with three counts of criminal homicide in connection with the murders of Patrick, Deborah, and Wendy Sullivan October 22nd. Police say the family's murder was drug related. Clues from the crime scene led police to Jenkins. Tuesday, detectives submitted DNA from Jenkins to TBI. The crime lab linked Jenkins' DNA to the crime scene. He was charged Friday. Hendersonville police have also charged Jenkins a connection would break ins at his apartment complex, the Hickory Point townhomes in Hendersonville. We spoke to two neighbors off camera whose homes are broken into this week. After they found out what Jenkins is charged with in Nashville, they say they're relieved they weren't hurt during their break ins. This is the first I've heard about that, so I, I don't like that at all. I've got three kids at home here. I keep an eye on I, I don't like that at all. Neighbors say Jenkins' wife and stepchildren are still living in the complex, but have been told to leave in the coming days. In Hendersonville, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville, News 2. In addition to the murder charges in Metro Nashville, Jenkins faces new charges of burglary and theft in connection with break-ins in his neighborhood. He remains in the Sumner County Jail tonight.